He can smell blood. And lions. But he's no longer afraid of lions. Land is a stalemate. Lions are too fast for the croc. And the croc's armor, too much for the lions. The king of the jungle is forced to share his meal. But things are very different if a lion challenges the crocodile in the water. This is a crocodile. The world's largest reptilian predator. 40 years old. Over 5 meters long. is a baby, four days old, less than 50 centimeters long. It's no natural born killer. It has to learn how to hunt, learn how to battle the king of the jungle. East Africa. Two million animals are on the move. Following the rains in search of new grass. In their way is a river. Two of the deadliest predators in Africa. The lion rules the land. The water belongs to the crocodile. and water meat is a battleground. Lions and crocodiles. Ancient enemies. Deadly rivals. This epic battle is the culmination of more than 40 years of intensive training. A face-off that began the moment the crocodile was born.
A baby crocodile is a perfect replica of his adult form. Only 4,000 times smaller. This is no killer. This is lunch. Eagles, jackals, and hyenas love eating babies. And so do other crocodiles. This female has waited 90 days for the eggs to hatch. She's not hungry. She's their mother. She guarded her nest. Now she guards her babies. An armored enforcer carrying them to the water. Young crocs need all the help they can get. They have two skills. Swimming and hiding. They leave the fighting to mom. Crocodiles are the world's most social reptiles. They call to each other and to mom. Crocs are clever. Crocs use cooperation as a weapon. Zebras may look harmless, but their hooves are lethal. A kick to the head could mean a broken jaw and a slow death. So crocs are careful. They spend days watching the nervous zebras waiting for a herd to commit to a crossing. A mature female leads the way. As the current drags the zebras downstream, Six crocodiles cover the crossing from different angles. The crocs submerge, taking advantage of deeper, slower currents to move closer. Inexperienced crocodiles attacked first. They soon learn it's folly to bite a big butt. The young crocs can't get a grip. But the herd is spooked. Hesitation means separation from the group. This is what experienced hunters have been waiting for. They let the large animals go by. Clever crocs target foals. crocodile holds tight, 
Others pulled a zebra underwater to drown. Even feeding requires teamwork. By twisting against each other, they tear the corpse apart. Crocodiles dream of eating zebras. They have all the moves. The hatchlings are getting hungry. They've survived for weeks on the remains of their yolk sacs, but it's time to learn to hunt. The young crocodile has simple instincts. If it moves, it's lunch. The young croc is a miniature version of the ultimate aquatic stealth predator. The blueprints of crocodile design are 100 million years old. Once, crocs killed dinosaurs. They use the same weapons today. The croc's head is enormous, about 20% of its body weight. And most of that is mouth. Jaws are built to slam shut with incredible force. 66 interlocking teeth pierce flesh and hold fast. Only about a third of each tooth is exposed. Embedded in the jawbone, the long shaft provides strength to penetrate the toughest hide. The crocodile's jaws are lethal weapons. But learning how to use them takes time. A young crocodile targets prey small enough to swallow. But moving targets are tricky. And bugs make you look silly in front of your bros. Fortunately, practice makes perfect. Killing comes at a cost. The needle-sharp teeth of the growing crocs can now inflict real damage. It 
it's time for the crash to break up. The young crocs are on their own. They still have a lot to learn about buoyancy, water currents, and keeping a low profile. Hungry eyes are everywhere. Only two out of 100 babies become adults. The young croc spends his first years hiding in the shallows, killing, eating, growing. The young male is now five years old and one and a half meters long. 70% of his diet is fish. And he's become an expert angler. Simply choose a channel and wait. The young crocodile gets fat on fish. But now, big enough to taste warm blood. On land, most mammals move faster than crocs. And not many are stupid enough to join them for a swim. But mammals need water. The smartest of all reptiles, the croc stakes out where prey comes to drink. The water's edge is his killing zone. If he can get close enough. The crocodile is the underwater equivalent of a stealth fighter. His sculpted head breaks the surface with barely a ripple. Only his eyes, ears, and nose are exposed. A crocodilian periscope for targeting prey. Much of his brain is devoted to his sense of smell. A crocodile can detect a dead hippo from over three kilometers away. His eyes gauge distance to target. In daylight, the iris is a vertical slit. At night, it opens wide. A mirror-like membrane at the back of his eyeball reflects light back into the retina for super-sensitive night vision. are no use in murky water. But his protective armor is remarkably sensitive. Scales are studded with tiny pressure receptors. K-1 
capable of detecting the minutest disturbance in the water. The croc's in no hurry. He can hold his breath for an hour. His heart rate slows to only two beats per minute. Then, at the flick of a switch, the croc explodes to maximum power. have been using these tactics for 100 million years. But things don't always go according to plan. Targeting prey on land takes practice. Some animals are too fierce. Others too fast. And some are too clever. dry season. There's nowhere to hide. Big baboons are smart. Digging drinking holes above the croc's kill zone. They share water with no one. The risks are obvious. But mammals must drink. Big baboons even attack little baboons. Young baboon must take its chances out of the mud. the muddy monkey was slippery or clawed the croc's eye. But the crocs learned from his mistake.
Adult elephants are not prey. They're just too big and too strong. But elephant babies are vulnerable. locks onto the trunk in the water. Wrong trunk! The crocodile was lucky. Angry elephants have killed attacking crocs and hung their bodies in trees. Crocodiles learn fast. From now on, he'll eat more fish and less elephant. He'll hone his hunting skills. As the years pass, he'll get bigger, stronger, deadlier. The young male is now 10 years old, 3 meters long, and ready to play with the big boys. But there's a problem. Crocodiles have a complex social life. Everybody knows their place. Bulls rule. The biggest male dominates this stretch of the river. He gets the best females and the best beach. The young male keeps well clear. He's right at the bottom of the pecking order. He's ignored by the females it's the worst part of the beach and is last to the dinner table. The dominant male is the first to feed. There's no fighting. Everybody waits their turn. But just as the young male gets his chance, in no man's land. The lions won't go in the water. The crocs lose their edge on land. Face off. The young male slips away. Lions can kill Crocs. He's not that hungry. This was his first encounter with the king of the jungle. There'll be many more. As the young Croc gets bigger, he faces a new problem. Fish don't fill him up like they used to. He needs bigger prey.
But in Africa, there's a lot of competition. African hunting dogs are built for speed, stamina, and persistence. Of the frying pan and into the fire. It's the young male's lucky day. Hunting dogs can't compete with crocs. But other hungry eyes are watching as the young male takes his prize ashore to feed. Leopards kill crocodiles. But the young male is growing in size and confidence. He won't give up that easily. Leopard doesn't have much time. She has a cub to feed. And there are other scavengers in the night. can drive a leopard off a kill. So the female retreats with her cub to the safety of a tree. attempt to steal a crocodile's meal when it's in the water.
land. The commotion attracts another unwelcome visitor. Leopards and hyenas won't mess with male lions. But crocodiles will. If they're big enough. And in 30 years, this male will be very big indeed. have been waiting to cross. And so have the predators. Five meters long, weighs nearly a ton, and he's still growing, mostly wider. He has only one rival in the river. The hippo. Four meters long, 3,000 kilos. It's mating season. Males fight to the death. have a healthy respect for hippos. But this old male is dying. It's dinner time. As dominant male, he's the first to feed.
There's no fighting. No arguing. Everybody on the river respects his authority. Except lions. to find a giraffe drowned in the river. There's enough food here to feed the pride for days. If they can get it away from the crocodiles. smell blood and lions but he's no longer afraid of lions It's a stalemate. Lions are too fast for the croc. And the croc's armor, too much for the lions. The king of the jungle is forced to share his meal. But things are very different if a lion challenges the crocodile in the water. After 18 days, the river is still in flood. Zebras still won't risk a crossing. The big male's in no hurry. He can go weeks without feeding. But the lion is hungry. The zebras are just over the water.
big mistake. millions of years. Compared to dinosaurs, lions are easy meat. Immense strength. And sophisticated hunting skills. to make the crocodile truly built for the kill.